Hey everybody, Sensei Alex here. Uh, just gonna make a quick video about how to tie the Hakama to help all the new blue belts that are getting their Hakamas all squared away. So now that you're gonna want them in class, sometimes you'll come to class with your belt on. Make sure you take that thing off. Try not to make it touch the ground like I just did. Find a nice spot for it. So maybe put it in your weapons bag so you don't just throw it all over the ground. So your sensei's not going to be happy with that. What you'll do next is grab your hakama. This is the front side. Uh, the other side is going to be the back plate. That'll go on your back. There are two sides of the hakama. It's not a skirt. So it, it's actually skirted pants. So you got one leg over here, one leg over there. Make sure you get them uh, in both legs. This is going to go about at your belly button level. You're going to want the hakama to drag on the ground so it looks like you're floating like the samurais would do. Uh, in olden days there, so now you pull it behind. Uh, I'm gonna do once around, kind of like I'm tying my shoe, and then pull it tight. You're gonna wanna release some of your air there because you wanna want it to be really tight for when you learn sword, uh, so it can hold the sword in there snug. Same move here, make sure it's below the lip of the hakama. You don't want that drooping down, uh, then it'll, it'll come loose. So make sure it's tight right there. Come right back around, you're gonna tie this like you're tying your shoe. So that'd just be like your regular little bow tie here. So once you bow tie around the back, that's tough to do. Sometimes you want to use a mirror. Um, you're going to want to write your name on that guy. Most people tuck it in. I don't tuck it in. As long as it's tied tight, it's going to hold it tight. So you put that back plate over, bring it around here. Now just like you're tying when you double tie your belt, make sure you hold all the cords together there. It's going to come under all of them. And this is uh, the trickier tie, different than your just regular bow tie. You're going to make uh, a big crease there and then crease it a little bit less. Oh, I'm having trouble here. As you come down, so about five inches, then like three inches, two inches, and you're gonna try and make your own nice little bow there. You hold it all together. Bring the other cord around, or your hakama tie, whatever you wanna call it. After you go a couple times around, it'll hold it all together. You put this in here, a little extra strip, and then your hakama should look something like that. At that point, and you're ready for bladed weapons training.